is called Siddhi's Bake Shop. So Siddhi's Bake Shop is a allergy friendly bakery. We are a home based bakery in Mansfield and we cater to most uh, food allergies. I always had a like I liking for baking as a kid and then when I had my own kid she has a bunch of food allergies. So then we always uh, had problems finding stuff for her so I thought I'd just make stuff for her. So today we were doing a lot of uh, like fusion things for uh, the Diwali fest here. So we did a lot of the things with Indian flavors, but just presented in a different way. So like a rose tiramisu, or we had some mango lassi cheesecake earlier. So, or like we had a tres leches cake, but with like Indian flavors. So essentially fusing the flavors, but presenting them in a different way. I like being a part of the community and like, mm, like sort of, helping people understand Indian flavors and foods, so yeah. 
My name is Paul Swyden. I'm the owner and operator of the Silver Unicorn Bookstore. So we are a local, independent, and community bookstore. Um, we sell new books for ages 0 through 100, or if you live longer than 100, for those folks too. Um, we serve our community with the three C's, convenience, curation, and community. And uh, we're open every day at 10 a.m. and hope you come by and buy books. So I know the organizer Deepika and she does a tremendous job of fostering community spirit here in Acton and beyond. And uh, when she told me that she was working with student organizers to put on this event, we jumped at the opportunity because we know what a great job, job she does and, and how much she really loves our community. We had a bookstore in town called Willow Books and it closed uh, about a year before we opened. and. Um, you know, folks were disappointed when the bookstore, the previous bookstore closed, and so one thing led to another, and here we are. We love So TV. You folks do a great job, and uh, happy to have you out here covering Diwali Fest. Hi, my name is Dia Prakash. I own Bunny's Tiger. For the past two years at Diwali Fest, I've been selling um, handmade acrylic paintings that I normally, I've normally taken three months prior to the event to make. I vary in style, so I had a stained glass painting, which was a bird, and then I also have like a beach. So yeah, I, I typically work with acrylics on different mediums. So this initially started when I was eight. I was like, wait, I think I like making art. I think I like painting. So I decided, okay, I, I want to make money out of this. So then my mom started Deepika Prakash. Um, she, she started the Volley Fest. So then I was like, okay, this is a perfect opportunity for me to sell my work. This is. I would like to say that this is a pop up business. Like I never do this um, outside of events like the Volley Fest. The Volley Fest is great. I love it. Yeah.